right guys welcome back to the next lesson in this davinci resolve tutorial today is a really exciting day because we're going to actually start cutting up video and putting them into the timeline in fact let's go ahead and look at our curriculum and see what we got on the lineup for today so today we are going to be going over uh the cut tab as you guys can see i'm gonna give you guys a quick little tutorial uh, tour of that then we're going to get into cutting pieces of footage by doing like in and out points and then maybe we're going to get into maybe building a little bit of a timeline using the cutting and maybe aspect ratios depending on how much uh, time and information that I've given you guys. Because you guys know I'm trying to keep this stuff really, really short and sweet. Okay. Multi-camera is a video on its own. Definitely not going to go over that today in today's video. Only because that is a lot of information. All right. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. All right. And here we are back into DaVinci Resolve in our media tab here at the very, very bottom as we can see. But today we're going to finally jump on over into Macedonia by going over to the cut tab. All right. So let's go ahead and click on that down here where it says cut. And now we are brought to here. Now, if you guys already been following my first two videos, you guys have already had footage brought into DaVinci Resolve. Uh, if you uh, also uh, have not seen the second video, I'll talk about some really, really cool settings that we are going to be using later on. But uh, for now, uh, those two are not necessary because I'll give you guys a quick little uh, summary of those two things. So first off, let me go ahead and give you guys a tour of the cut tab. So on the left here, as you guys can see, this is where our media pool is going to be, which is a mirror of what's over here. As you guys can see, here's our content simple. And if you go to the cut tab, you can see our content simple right here as well. OK, now what we're going to do is look over here on the right side. And this is where videos are going to be kind of be previewed, so to speak. And we're going to be able to preview our videos here in just a minute. And then down here is actually where the timeline is going to live. OK, so let's go ahead and go into our content folder and let's go ahead and find some video files. So here we are. Uh, if you don't have any video files in here to work with, definitely just go over to a Windows uh, um, file explorer and basically go over to a content folder that has content in it and drag and drop a video into here. OK, there are some better practices, but for speed and just for, you know, for the sake of this video, you can just drag and drop uh, footage into here. OK, but definitely recommend watching uh, lesson one uh, where I talk about some better practices. So once you have your footage in here, you'll see that right here on the top left. And let's go ahead and just double click on one of these. And you will notice right away that as soon as I double clicked on that, there is a larger preview of what I just clicked on over here. And notice what happens when I hover over those clips. You see how it starts to play it Isn't that neat. You see how I kind of hover over it. So that's called the live um, media preview, I believe is what DaVinci Resolve calls it. So you can kind of skim through your footage really, really quickly like that. But as you notice, as I do the second one, it only does it in the small little frame here. As you guys can see, it doesn't actually put it over here to get it over here on the right side in the big screen. You actually have to double click it. OK. So by double clicking it, then it brings uh, that over into this larger side and you can kind of get a better idea of what you are editing. So now let's say, for example, we wanted to use only a part of this footage. In fact, let's backtrack a little bit. Let's say we want to just get this into a timeline. OK, sure. Simple. No problem. I'm going to show you one button. You guys ready? Double click on your clip. You see this button where it says append right here. And as you hover over it, it actually starts to tell you that it's append. If you click on that, that already created a timeline. OK, so here's our timeline and here's our clip from earlier. And you guys can see by clicking and dragging and moving over, you guys can see that we have our clip from earlier. OK, so click drag and you guys can move back and forth uh, from here, which is really, really nice. OK, now. What if, you know, you probably think it, Chris, I, I don't want the whole clip, right? Maybe I just want a few seconds of it. So let's say, for example, let's go ahead and scroll this over to here or actually let's just keep it in the middle. I'm going to show you guys something a little bit later with that in a minute. Let's double click on me right here where I'm trying to look at myself looking like a doofus. Um, Let's say I only wanted the part where I look directly into the camera here. Well, if you click over here on this little uh, bar here, you guys saw me do that earlier. Uh, this is also another way that you can click and drag and move across this clip. OK, and wherever that playhead is, that's kind of where the starting point of the video will be. But now if I click on this or I hit a pen right now, uh, 
it's actually not going to put that part where my head is. That's because we didn't tell DaVinci Resolve to only take this part of the clip. Okay, you have to actually tell DaVinci Resolve to do that. So how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and hit Control Z to undo what we have done. And let's go ahead and double click on that clip again. And you see how my playhead is still in that spot? To tell it that you want it to start the video right here, we're gonna actually hit the letter I as an igloo on the keyboard. And you notice what happened? You see how there's like a gray shade here, but then there's green here? Let me undo that again. You guys see what I did here? I'm gonna hit I, watch in this area. I, boom. You see how it kind of trimmed it? That is now indicating that this is the starting point of our video or the end point. And let's kind of scroll our playhead over to when I look directly here at the camera. Now we're going to go ahead and hit O as in October or out. And that's when I want this clip to end. Then I'm going to go over here and hit my a pin button. And voila, we have trimmed and clipped and chopped up a video just a little bit with our in and out points and got that into the timeline okay all right so we're going to take a moment right there to just kind of soak all that in that was a lot i just showed you guys and i can't believe it's already been five to six minutes of a video so we're going to go ahead and definitely save um building a timeline and aspect ratios uh for the next video as i think that that will take up definitely another five to ten minutes of a video so i hope you guys found that to be enjoyable and useful and now you guys can go ahead and start uh cutting up and chopping up video so you definitely want to want to stay tuned for the next one uh because we're going to get into like more like social media and stuff like that too all right so i hope you guys learned something and i hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you guys in the next one see ya